here we are with uh, Grand Banks, and congratulations on your win this weekend. Thank you. Yeah, it was definitely an interesting race. Um, you know, quite a exciting finish, but um, you know, nevertheless, I think everyone left there saying it was one of the best 125 races they've seen in a long time. So uh, that's what we're here to do: entertain, I guess. So let's go. Let's cut right to the chase and uh, talk about what happened in that last corner. And, you know, people thought that it was a takeout move, but in, in fact, it wasn't. You know, run to Well, you know. <clears throat> Like, you know, Leslie didn't say too much about it, which was kind of cool. I don't know if he would... I mean, obviously, he's bummed. He ended up 15th after leaving the whole race. And, um, you know, from my standpoint, we came in that term. It was 50-50. We came in side by side. He wasn't going to shut off. I was going to shut off. We're both going for the win. And um, I actually got to see it on video footage a little bit ago. And it looks like my um, left leg catches a hay bale, which kind of pulls me off the back of the bike a little bit. At the last second, as I'm going down, I let go of the bike as I'm falling down. And my bike kind of catches his bike in a weird way. And he fell off the bike, but his bike kept going. So, racing incident, never mean to take him out. Um, not that I look at it that I took him out. It was just that we came together. We both tried to fit two bikes in one line. And uh, fortunately for me, I got up and was able to win the race. But, uh, you know, injured my ankle in the process. But... Uh, that's racing, and um, you know I'll be back soon and be fighting for the win again. So, uh, run down what went through your mind when you picked up the bike and your foot fell off. <laughs> well, when I picked up my bike at first, I didn't realize anything was major wrong, but uh, I had to stand on my left leg to throw my right leg over the, the seat to get going, and um, when I put all my weight in my left foot, I kind of felt it buckle underneath me, and I, I realized something was wrong. So as I crossed the finish line, I looked down and my foot was um, like 90 degrees outwards and first thing that came to mind is that I'd broken my lower leg and I'm like, that's it, I'm done, I'm, uh, that's my season finished and um, obviously I was really bummed out and um, you know, the team came running up because they were going to hug me and high five me and I had to tell them to hold back and, uh, and my mechanic looked at, like you know, why wasn't I excited? And I said, I think I broke my foot. So everyone just went into panic mode. But uh, I'll be honest, it was the first time that I was actually excited when they told me I'd just dislocated my foot. Because I really thought it was broken. I thought I was done. I didn't really know that my ankle was dislocated. I, you know, it's not really something that is a common injury. You know, it's normally you can break your tib and fib at the bottom. And, um, you know, Doc Bodden and the guys popped it back in and uh, went home in the motorhome that night. And I was at the doctor's first thing Monday morning to start diagnosing the full um, problem and to start the rehab. And fortunately, there's not a lot of other damage. It's just very swollen and bruised. And um, looks like I'll make a, a good recovery and won't need surgery. And hopefully I'll be uh, healthy soon. So we'll see you this weekend at Mount Morris, huh? I'll be there. Um, I'm, I'm flying there regardless. I got my plane ticket, so I'm, I'm on my way. But, uh, you know, um, I, I want to try and race and um, doing everything I can in the process to get healthy and get ready. And, uh, you know, I can only hope that uh, it's good enough to race. You know, most important is at least get some points. So, uh, you know, it'll be one of those weekends. I'll just take it as it comes. And you never know. Sometimes adrenaline takes over and you just ride you know, better than ever, but uh, I don't know. I'm just, just hoping, you know, if I, can, if I could walk with a top 10 this weekend, I'll, I'll be satisfied. And you raced with the uh, taped up dislocated shoulder before. I mean, it seems like shoulder would be a more painful injury than ankle to race in. I don't know, because when I did my shoulder, it was my first shoulder injury. Now this is my first ankle injury, so uh, hopefully you're right. Hopefully shoulder is worse, because if I could ride with a bad shoulder, I can ride with a bad foot, so... Uh, I will know, uh, I'll tell you guys on Sunday evening how it was. Yeah. One last thing, though. you know, you got in the second, in the second moto. You knew you had the overall. Uh, I think it says a lot about your character and your competitiveness that you had the overall. You had it won. You hung it out, pushed it, closed in. How many seconds on the last lap? Um, I believe like four and a half, five seconds on the last lap. Basically, when I got in the second, there was three laps to go, and I was 13 seconds down, and I was catching those guys, and it was kind of like every time I passed a guy, it gave me 
this adrenaline rush, boost of confidence, turbocharge, whatever. And, and you know, it was like, you know, I, I passed one guy and then the next guy. And every time I passed him, I thought, okay, that's fourth, you know. It's not good enough for the overall, but it's a good comeback. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, okay, that's third, you know. And then when I got to third, I'm like, well, Brown's up ahead. If I charge and get him, that's the overall. And then as soon as I got Brown, I'm like, I can win this thing. And I just kept saying to myself, just go for it, you know. Just racing mentality, you know. Um, you know, some people will say it was stupid that I went for the win because it may have cost me. In hindsight, yeah, you know, I have a bad foot, but I didn't know that before the race. Uh, or before, you know, I tried to pass a lesser, you know, at that time it was like, I'm going for the win, I'm a racer, I wanted to win, and I don't regret it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of bummed of, you know, what turned out, you know, happened, but it's racing, you know, you deal with it, you take the good with the bad, it was a memorable race, you know, like you said, that's not my character, to have just settled, I'm a racer, I would have always tried to win, maybe if it was a championship, final race and second was good enough for the title, I would have settled. But it's an opening race. There's no settling involved. I mean, every point, I mean, that's all we got to get maximum points. And, you know, I wanted to win and I won. You know, got a bummed ankle, but just, I like to make it exciting and it gives us a little uh, hurdle for the weekend, but we don't want to make the championship boring. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we'd like to adopt that Cool G nickname for you. I'm starting to think, man, maybe you're more of the Zulu warrior guy. Well, um, that was the nickname kind of given to me, and it's uh, it's kind of an off-the-wall name, because if you think of a Zulu warrior, you know, I don't kind of fit the profile, but, um, you know, um, I think it just comes from just people said that I was always a charger and hard, you know, you know, just worked hard, and, you know, I like the nickname, I like Cool G, because I'm mellow, laid back, easy kind of going guy, so I think that suits me, but uh, I like the Zulu Warrior. I think uh, I got a bit of Zulu in me anyway. <laughs>